Melbourne. A look away. Akoya. Nice work. Great work from Amy Atwell. Jade's done quite a good job of keeping her dribble alive, retreating, and then Canberra have done a great, um, great actions in the on balls up top. Second quarter action from Bendat Basketball Centre. Potter to come up with the opening points for Perth. And they cut the lead to 10. Good child. Chipitoni. Over the top to Potter. And that's working for them. Beck, she's looking dangerous, Emily Potter. And something they'll need to do more is, is find her early and not let her get set. Coyer almost the steal. Natwell comes up with a loose ball. And then has some space to work in. And that generally spells danger. Two-point game. Caps again, they've been forced into two turnovers. So it's a good child. Around the arc to Atwell. She wants to take on Sharp. Tough shot. Still there. Foul called and one. Bit cold. And Maley spoke about the energy that Lynx just didn't have and that effort and that. We asked who would step up and speculated would it be Annalie Maley when Erie McDonald went down. Well, it certainly has been. Here's Maley again. Her pressure creates a turnover and another score. Got their noses in front in the third seesawing battle. They get the last opportunity here. And why not? Why not? She's made seven of her last eight, Amy Atwell. Since then, she's seven for eight from three-point range. And she has helped turn the game in Perth's favour. They've come... A really good child. Had more opportunities without... McDonald there. She comes up with the N1. Melbourne Boomers, originally from Brisbane. A couple of seasons at the fire, then went to Duke University in the States. 